Welcome to the new world. Now you can have it all. A rugged phone, which we've had a look at. We've tested it a little bit, thrown it around a bit, put it in the dirt, put it in the water. shining but what does it do in your day-to-day -day work is it any good check it out guys remember the rugged phones from the past used to be similar to Land Rovers really tough really rugged can take a beating but very basic the old phones used to be quite tough you could put them in the water dirt proof shock proof but basically they had minimal functionality uh, very clunky screens and the camera really sucked not anymore Here's a quick size comparison. It's an old Moto G8 Plus. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, quite a fair bit wider. There you go. What you do do with your old phone, obviously, is you put a protective cover on there. This is a nod to the Range Rover Classic launch color, which is called Tuscan Blue. Doogee does give you a little protective cover basically the four corners and on the back and what this does help you with is the cameras gives you a bit more protection there but most importantly it's got a little kickstand you can watch this video on your phone which is quite nice already built in there also on the back there's a, a screen which gives you the option of your clock it's got a compass and you can run your music from here as well which is pretty cool well, now that we've established that it can in fact take a knock and that it's tough enough to take any of the daily knocks that you might have if you're working on construction or logistics or the military or maybe you're going off-roading in your Land Rover, who knows? If you manage to drop it or it falls underwater, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is all IP68, IP69K and MIL standard 810H. I think I got that right. Which means, yeah, anything you want to throw at it, it can take it. But what is it like to use in your daily grind, your daily work, your daily surfing on the net? Let's bring out the other phone. Uh, this is the old Moto G8 Plus. This is the brand new Doogee V20S. And you can see the difference in screen already. Not just the size, that is a little bit bigger. Although the phone is a lot bigger than that. It's the vibrance, it's just color comes right at you. This screen is far superior to the old one, so we'll move that aside. So here it is, Android 13. I think we're all quite familiar with that now, these days. All of that stuff. You've got your personalization, nav bar, your sound. The easy key is on this side here, and you can set that. And long press, I've done open flashlight, which is there you go, which is quite bright. So that's quite handy to have that little instant thing there. You can program that. Up and down is your volume keys, and that's on and off, which is very good. I find it very fast. I've got to say, this is a step up from what we're used to with our normal uh, Android phones. It's got child safety stuff, gaming stuff, all of that. It doesn't come with a lot of bloatware, although I copied most of my apps from the other phone. Basically, you also got an assistant here, which is kind of like Google. You know, ask Google, hey, Google, can you give me the specs on a Doogee V20S? It's got outdoor tools, which is not normal on most phones. Uh, height meter, it's got a compass. So are we facing west-ish? Uh, gradients, we've got a flashlight, obviously. Hanging a painting, getting it nice and square. We've got a magnifying glass. So those are those things, very cool. Uh, we've got an FM radio. Does it work? No. And why do I say that? It's because I can't find the plug point 
for the headphones. If anyone knows, please let me know. I'll have to have a dive into the manual. Oh, there is no manual. The only manual they give you is one that says it's compliant with radiation levels and all that stuff. It's not perfect, obviously. There are a couple of things you need to make concessions in, and that is what compromise is all about. Just like our old Landy, which has now got 155-litre diesel capacity, which is way above the norm. This one has a much bigger battery than your standard phone. Also, it's heavier because of that. So if you want the extra lifespan of your battery, you're going to have to pay a little bit of concession. It's a bit more chunky. It takes getting used to. If you're looking for something a little more slick, this is not for you. This is a rugged phone. This is a phone that needs to take a beating. It needs to stand up to a rough environment, but also give you a really pleasant experience when you're using it day to day surfing, phoning, um, checking out your GPS coordinates. On the bottom is a USB-C port over here which is covered by a waterproof little cover here. What this does do, the USB-C, it charges at 33 watts which is huge. If you want to have a quick look at the battery usage, uh, you only have to do this once every three days. I've had it for three days now, surfing, emails, WhatsApp, uh, photographs, watching some videos, just generally looking at installing apps, using the phone a lot. So the functionality is there because you've got a really fast processor. It does everything really fast. It's put up tracks for Africa quickly. Uh, it's got good GPS, GLONASS, all of those things. I'll put the um, specs down below. Very good for your navigation. Right now we're not in Africa, so we aren't even picked up. But uh, let's zoom in down here. Go to the Okavango Swamp, look at that. Uh, that's very good, that's very responsive, very quick. Uh, navigation as well, you can adjust the size of everything. Camera is very good, you even got your little Fibonacci spiral going on here. If you've got your HDR, AI, all of that stuff. You've even got night vision, which is kind of black and white. You've also got your pro mode in here, which gives you a whole lot of different settings. So for photography, I think it's great. 50 megapixels on the front camera is a huge amount. Video, it takes 2K video. It's 5G as well. Twin SIM. You can also expand the 256 gig storage that's already on board up to two terabytes, which is just kick-ass uh, telephone, I've got to tell you. Huge amount of storage, uh, 256 gig standard. 12 gig RAM standard, expandable to 20 gig dynamically. A uh, huge amount of processing power, very fast to use. Vivid screen, as you saw, just amazing colors. Two times 5G SIM, you've got your fingerprint sensor here, you've got your 20 and your 24 and your 50 megapixel cameras, plus an eight megapixel wide and macro lens. 20 on the front, uh, very easy to use, very quick, very fast. All the stuff is there that's been installed already on Android 13, which is a very good system, works very well, very slick. Very clear screen, good camera, very fast processor, a lot of storage. Basically, that's all you need. And it's in a pretty good package. No longer the Land Rover of phones where you have a rugged exterior and nothing inside. It's very basic. This has it all. Have a look at that. Thanks for watching. Hope this was a little bit entertaining, a little bit informative, and maybe look at a Doogee next time you're in the market for a phone that can do more than just take pictures. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Keep rolling.